Hi guys, this is Lauren of Makeup by Lauren Ann, and today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you my whole collection of face products that I use. Um, I'm going to show you my moisturizer, my loose mineral powders, my pressed powders, bronzer, blushes on one stick, uh, liquid foundation and concealers, and this special little thing which I'll tell you what that's all about in a few minutes. So, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the Cetaphil uh, Moisturizing Cream. And I got it this past Sunday. And I never knew I needed um, moisturizer before until my winter came and my skin got so flaky that if I put on liquid foundation or pressed powder or blush or whatever, bronzer, it would get so unattractive and feel weird and just look bad. So... Um, I saw videos that recommended getting moisturizer as an essential tool, and as you can see, this is really good consistency. I, I'm seriously shake, you know, you shake it, it's not coming out, so it, like, is harder than you think. And really good for your face. That's $10 at Walmart, around that, $10, $11. And they have a little, this is 16 ounces, they have a 3 ounce tube for like 6 bucks, and then they have a generic one for a couple dollars less, so you do the math, that's the best buy all together, you know, generic or not. Um, people recommend Clinique, but that's 24 bucks at Sephora or Macy's, so I'm happy with this. Go with this. It's cheaper, it works, it lasts. Alright. I hope I helped someone by saying that. Um, next... Oh, I'll start with this one. We got Mineral Powder. This is True Blend Minerals, number 410 by CoverGirl. This is the first one I ever got. I actually took the puff out, not knowing this would happen. You're supposed to have a little like that come out, and you're supposed to swirl and tap very lightly with a kabuki brush or full face brush. And, yeah, I kind of messed that up. Plus, it's too dark for my skin. I, I want to try number 405. But then I found this one at Ocean State. Ocean State Job Lab. That's slaying Ocean State. There's my camera. And this is Sally Hansen Finishing Powder. I actually... Wait. Oh, okay. This is Radiant Lift Loose Powder Natural Beige. And this is a lot better for my uh, skin tone. It's lighter. And I kept the puff in this time. And actually has a raised little thing. So it's a lot better. And I'm very happy with it. It was only two bucks at Ocean State Job Lot because they have closeout deals. Because it's uh, discontinued, which is sad because then I don't know what to get. That was the last one. So, um, but this was eight ish. So, all right, now on to pressed powders. This is Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I have a few of the Dream Matte collection, as you can see. And I really, really like this. I've actually made this, you know, indent. So, I've actually used it pretty well. And, um, you know, it's really nice. It comes with the puff. Slides out. And there's the mirror. And... You see, if it, it is light, but I can blend it in, and it's really nice, and it just gives that nice finishing touch before or without bronzer and blush and all that. I do recommend blush with this, though. If you're of my complexion, um, I do recommend blush because if you just put this and if you put too much of it, it'll make you look washed out. But I really like this. I got it at Ocean State Job Lot for half the price that I would have gotten at Walgreens or Walmart. So, if you have an Ocean State Job Lot near you and you're into makeup like I am, go there. You will be so happy. You will fall in love. <laughs> Alright, I got LA Colors. And this is Beige. Uh, BPP321. And I still have the plastic on it. I use this one kind of. Um, this one is more for other people. I practice makeup on other people, like my friends and family. So it's more for other people, but I've used it a little. Okay. I gotta close it. Alright. 
I got bronzer. I got my first bronzer finally. I don't know what that is. Alright, I really love this package. And it's LA Colors Bronzer. It's the only one there. It was Bronze Glow. Well, there are a few, but it was the only color. So now I don't have to get it from e.l.f., but um, it's my only bronzer, so when it runs out, I'm going to re replace it, obviously. Alright, um, I'm going to go to the Dream Matte Collection over here. This is Dream Matte Mousse in Natural Ivory, which is light number three. And as you can see, this is quite used. And um, all those lines in it, I can't, no, I don't know if you can tell, but that's for my foundation brush, actually. This stuff feels as soft as it says on the commercials. I don't know if you remember the commercials, because this is actually kind of outdated now, but it's as soft as they say, and I love it. Um, although it does kind of make it, you have to have the nice skin, because if you're flaky, it makes you look terrible. Um... But that I, I like to rub in before a mineral powder or press powder. This is Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin number 20. There we go. It has a tint of sparkle. Again, it's soft. Very sparkly. This you have to use um, not too much of or else you'll look terrible. <laughs> I don't know what other way to put it. Um... I'm going to go to other blushes now. This I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar, obviously. And I love, love, love this. It has a little, like, bump, and it's a little glitter tint, but it's kind of that kind of matte light look that if you put too much, it doesn't even look that bad. Whereas if you put this dark one too much, it will. This is Maybelline Pure Blush, Pure Chestnut. Remember, anything in Dollar Tree that's like Maybelline or Family Dollar or whatever um, is discontinued. So if you want this, stock up on it. I should actually get another sometime. Um, but this Pure Chestnut, they also have uh, Pure Pecan or something, Pure Almond. It has to do with like nuts and all that, and it's pure. So, okay. I gotta speed this up. Uh, Maybelline, number 20, Pinch of Pink. This is, you know, the blush I've used forever. I've used this a long time. I mean, obviously not the same one. I've replaced it. But this is, like, just the blush I've always used. It's a simple blush, expert wear blush. And it comes with a little brush. I don't recommend using it, though. Use a blush brush or a bronzer brush. And we got Revlon Golden Affair. This is, again, discontinued only at Ocean State Job Lot or online. Number 425, Berry Darling. And actually, all the star was gold. And when you put your brush on it, it all swirls out into the side. So then you have a nice gold shimmer tint to your cheeks. And the gold stays in these uh, circles. So it looks kind of yellow on the camera. But it is gold, and it has a sparkle. It is very dark, so use it lightly. But I was like, you know, a dark blush. That's pretty cool. I don't have one, so... And this all-in-one stick by LA Colors is lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow. Um, I've used it as lipstick and a little eyeliner. That's what it looks like. And if you use blush, a cool trick is to put your blush brush and put this in the center, swirl it a bit, and it'll come out really nice and evenly. And then I got LA Colors Liquid Makeup Foundation. Donna Michelle in Light One Makeup Foundation, the Hydrating Series. Those are at Dollar Tree. LA Colors Concealer in Nude BCS 300. And Aziza 2 Cover Stick. This is darker than it looks. And then I got, oh, I gotta go quick. This is Patricia Wexler MD Dermatology Restore AM and PM. I got this for free at Bath and Body once. Don't really use it, but I want to use it. Alright, so I also have yet to find a concealer that really works for me, so these aren't that great, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and look for more of my makeup collection coming soon, and then the final, you know, point, the finale will be really awesome, where you'll see my makeup studio, and all my makeup stuff, and where it is, and everything. So I really hope you like this video, please subscribe that way, comment down there, and rate down there, and favorite down there, and have a great day.